Monday, sunny, beautiful day. It is 9 a.m. And instead of logging on to work, I am putting shoes on to go out in the world because it's my day off. I don't know, it's President's Day and I'm not working and I was like, I actually have time to vlog and I thought I'd catch up with you guys and we'll just see how I spend my day off. Kind of challenging myself to not make it like productive in a sense because it is a day off but more like efficient just not wasted time or like unnecessary downtime of like scrolling like mindless time like i want it to be really intentional day off where i'm actually getting things done but also replenishing and resting myself and like having fun so i'm doing a whole mix of things today and I'm bringing you guys along. So putting on boots now because it's 9 a.m. like I said, and I'm going to Trader Joe's. I need to get some groceries. I have been pretty bad the last few weeks about eating out and like not buying my groceries that much. Like I'll go to Whole Foods and get a few things here and there and I'll like make a few meals here and there, um, but not like I used to be so methodical about like planning out my dinners and grocery shopping every week with the set grocery list and like just being more intentional about it so i am going to the grocery store i didn't like plan out dinners but i think i want to do salmon with that like salad that i really like to make with it and i'm just still debating if i want to buy chicken i feel like we all kind of go through phases though where you know you'll be super super into cooking and making like healthy meals at home you know every night for dinner and then you'll have other phases where you're like more doing on the go things or like grabbing a sweet green on your way home from work or whatever or going out to restaurants with friends and probably spending too much money on food and all that but i'm trying to rein in my food spending a little bit so working on that so i'm gonna get some groceries it's kind of cold outside still because it's early i think it's like in the 30s but it's gonna get up to let's check let's check what tiktok zone is up from and of course, I have to give a shout out to Princess Polly because they're sponsoring this video. So thank you, Princess Polly. I'm going to show you guys some of the new things I got from them later in the video. So that's part of my day too. Um, showing you the haul, which will be really fun. I'm obsessed with all of the things. And you can use my code Christy20 to get 20% off site-wide on Princess Polly. Just washed my hair and I recorded with Sierra. I also talked to Sierra on the phone for a couple hours because I was just like stressing about something and going around and around in my head about it and like, you know when you just have something where it's like a problem and you can't tell if you're making it up in your head and like overblowing it, like overthinking it or if it's an actual problem that you need to address. It was just good to kind of like, and that's what, you know, catching up with your best friends is great for. It's just like getting her perspective but I'm doing better and now we got the podcast done. Um, I did check my email for work even though it's an off day. I'm sorry, that's not a good influence for this day off vlog, um, but I had to do it. But anyway, now I'm getting ready. I just got mascara on my lower lash line, but it's fine. It's fine, I'm gonna go dry my hair and finish getting ready and then show you guys my Princess Polly stuff. I'm ready, I'm dressed. I am wearing this really cozy sweater from Princess Polly because I'm about to show you guys some of the new things I got. Every time I get something or an order from there, I die because it's like the new staples in my wardrobe that I wear all the time. So I got some new ones to share with you all. And of course I have a discount code to share with you as well. Their discount codes are the absolute best. Like every time I shop on there, I've used my own discount code in the past. I've used other people's discount codes because you can get 20% off. So you can get 20% off site wide on princess polly with the code christy20 and highly recommend but first let me show you guys what i got so this time this is the coziest softest sweater you guys I definitely think it's a great transition piece because yes it's a turtleneck 
and it's a sweater, but it's cropped. So you could wear it when it's like starting to warm up a little bit getting into spring, but that weird in between weather and it's a little on the thinner side. So it's not gonna make you like sweat if it's warmer than usual out. So turtleneck, it's nice and long. I like sweaters that I can pull kind of over my hands a little bit and very just like cozy, casual. I'm a big fan of it. Also got a couple accessories and a couple pairs of shoes which I'm really stoked about. And I'm looking at the stuff right now. I laid it all out on my bed and it's like all neutrals. <laughs> so, you know, classic me. I did get this ring. This is so cute. I got mine in a size seven, so it fits right on my middle finger there. It's a really pretty like woven kind of pattern. That what is this like the croissant style? It looks like a little croissant. Some cheese on my croissant. <laughs> but I really like their jewelry, especially. Very simple. I love like gold jewelry mostly, so that's what I get from them. And then I also got a hat. And this is something that's very different for me. I have seen these and I think they're really cute. They're like the fuzzy bucket hats. I wouldn't be a bucket hat person normally, but I really like these kind of like fuzzy ones in the winter. So I got this brown color. And I actually don't think it looks bad on me. I think hats are kind of hit or miss for me personally, how I feel about myself in them. But I tried this one on and I was like, this, I think I could wear this and like not be super self-conscious about it. So that's a win. And let's, my hair's not in the most like hat conducive style right now, but we'll just try and Like with the right outfit and everything, I think it could be cute. You know, maybe. <laughs> Or working on it, but I definitely like it and it's really cozy um, Especially like covering your ears a little bit keeping you warm and hats are essential when it's freezing in the winter in New York so Big fan of this and I'm gonna try on some of the other things and show you guys So Princess Polly ships for free in the United States if you order over $50, which is amazing And it's express shipping and it comes so quick like I placed this order and I had it within a few days and I was like that's Amazing, which is why I love ordering from them because if you need something in a pinch or for the weekend and you want it to come fast, express shipping three to four days in the US. So, love that. Um, I'm gonna try on some of the other things and show you. I don't wanna take this sweater off though because it's so cozy. Okay, I also got this sweater, which again, a very casual, neutral kind of vibe. It's got, I really like this neckline honestly because it's kind of like mock neck esque without overwhelming the neck because i have a short neck so i kind of like the ones that go up a little bit but aren't like completely covering and it's got little like puffy sleeves very nice neutral will go with a lot of things and i like sweaters that you can just throw on like this because this is something i can throw on for like a virtual zoom meeting or something for work and it looks like nice and professional enough because it's just you know plain sweater or i can style it and dress it casually and like wear it out so Big fan of this one. And then I also, these will be linked down below by the way. I got this jacket, which I've been wanting a brown faux leather jacket for the longest time. And I just haven't found the right one, but I saw this and I was like, this is beautiful. I got this in a medium slash large. And I actually, I wore this out already because it was, we had a warm day recently last weekend and it was perfect. Like such a good transition piece and worked so well with, the look, I just think it's such a statement piece and it's so cute. Also, that's why I love Princess Polly because honestly, I can find things that are trendy enough, but not, they're still like wearable is the thing. Like a warm brown color, so kind of like a reddish brown. And it goes right past the booty. So this pair of sunglasses, which is another one of those pieces where it's like a little bit on the trendy side that I would be a little hesitant of, hesitant for usually, but I think these are kind of fun. So these are like the ones that you would wear a little bit offset, like you look over them because, oh my God, I kind of into them. I, I still like, I'm not sure if I can fully pull them off, but like that is not <laughs> quite the look. This looks like me trying to wear, there we go. There we go. This is just better, I think. Okay, this is something that I definitely wear something under when I wear it out, um, but I wanted to get a cropped blazer because I had a pair of pants and I have a pair of pants that when I tried them on, I was like, this would be perfect with a crop blazer and I didn't have one. So I wanted to add one to my collection. And this 
is perfect. You could have like a cute bralette under it if you're wearing it like more, you could even do this like going out setting um, or again, more conservative for work. And then I did get a couple pairs of shoes like I mentioned that I'm so amped about. I pretty much wear black boots every single day, especially in the winter. And I have one particular pair, they're like lace up ones that I really like wearing, but they don't really go with everything. So I wanted a boot that was more sleek, like taller, a little bit just like dressier almost, but still very versatile. So I found these on Princess Polly and they're perfect. Just what I wanted. I love the thick heel and it has a bit of a platform too. So it gives me some height as someone who is 5'3". That's nice. They give you a little bit of height. So kind of elongating, especially if you're wearing black already. And I just think they're just what I wanted. So very cute. I got a pair of loafers. I have seen these styled really, really well on other people. So I wanted to try it for myself and push myself a little bit. So I like these because they're also a really chunky kind of platform on the bottom. And I like the gold hardware. I probably wouldn't wear them like this. I think they'd be really cute with tights, especially, or those high white socks. Um, but again, I need the proper socks with them and the proper outfit, but they really feel good. Like they're super comfortable on and I just feel like they'd be a really easy work shoe. Those were some of the things I picked up from Princess Polly this month. I'm so stoked to wear them and you're probably going to be seeing them in a lot of videos and wherever else I post what I'm wearing. But um, thank you Princess Polly once again for sponsoring this. Check them out, link below, things I got, browse their site. Again, that's free shipping if you order 50 bucks on the US site. It's like three to four days express shipping, which is amazing. And my code for 20% off is Christy20. So you don't want to miss that. Thank you, Princess Polly. And check it out. Code Christy20 on the discount code section of the checkout for 20% off, which is really such a good deal and really adds up when you want to buy everything on the site because it's really cute. <laughs> so highly recommend. Um, yeah, let's get on with the video. Here we go. Here's a little haul of the things I picked up. Um, some typical stuff. They didn't really have anything new that was exciting. I swear I saw something like a lentil chip on Instagram that I was excited about, but it wasn't in the store. So we wait. <laughs> anyway, I got roasted corn frozen, the best way to do it because then it doesn't go bad. I got eggs. And here is a bell pepper, a lime, and a shallot. So interesting. And a smoked turkey breast for like little sandwiches in the mid afternoon. I've been liking having those, like an open face sandwich. And salmon. Like I said, I'm going to make the salmon dish with the like corn salsa salad thing. And with that is a cucumber back there. I, of course, had to pick up some dark chocolate rice cake thins because this is my favorite snack. And whenever they have it, I have to jump on it. And I did get some organic grilled chicken breast. I didn't want to get the big thing because like I said, I feel like with this and that, I just wouldn't go through it all. So I was glad they had this. It just has like two servings, which is good. Avocados, pico de gallo. I think I'm gonna do like a grilled chicken taco bowl situation. With chicken, corn, I think I have some black beans already. Um, I got some more frozen ginger. I always keep this in the freezer for cooking. Comes in handy. I got some bacon some ketchup because I'm almost out, ginger chews, which are essential, gluten-free everything bagels. So this was my haul. It was so stocked in there. It was honestly great to be in there on a Monday morning because it was not that busy and there was nothing that I was looking for that they were out of. So very nice because Sunday afternoons are the opposite of that. So very much enjoyed my shopping experience this morning. I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'm ready to go. I decided to change my hair a little bit because the things were bothering me, but I'm wearing this sweater and the reddish brown jacket. Got my sunglasses on, my ring on, my camera's falling down, but we're gonna hit the town. We're going to L Train Vintage in East Village and we might go to a couple places around there too. And I'm just excited. It's now 3.30, so hopefully we get some daylight and just be out in the city a little bit, so. Let's go. Got my boots on. You can't see the full things, but I'm mixing black and brown. Oh well. <laughs>
back now. It is evening time. I'm wearing this new hoodie that I picked up. My camera's falling, as you can see. This is not some intentional cinematic choice. I got a zip up hoodie in this nice like sage green color. I have a lot of pullovers, but I always find that I want a nice little zip up. So I got this one. And then I also wanted to get a beanie because I don't really, I have one hat that I can't find and I think might be in Bend but I picked up a white beanie. But first of all, I'm cooking dinner now. Salmon is going in 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yes, it was a really good afternoon. It was so nice to hang out. We sat down and shared a bottle of wine, just caught up. We went to a couple shops in Soho. We walked from East Village and then we went to La Picora Bianca. We also went to this place called Mud for coffee in the early afternoon which is really good highly recommend apparently it's timothy chalamet's favorite coffee in the east village and let me show you the beanie i got <laughs> i don't know i don't think it works very well but if you fold it up it helps so not too bad but i've been finding that i want like some sort of hat it's not a baseball cap um because it's been chilly of course so this is good to keep the head warm and it was only eight bucks and it was simple. So I was like, you know what, might as well. Very refreshing evening and now we shared like zucchini fries. So I had like a little appetizer, um, but I'm making salmon now to have for actual dinner because it's been a couple hours since then and I need to eat some real food. Now the Monday scaries are setting in <laughs> because it's the end of my day off. I'm going to a concert this week, which will be really exciting. I haven't been to i was honestly talking about it with someone and like i don't think i've been to an actual dedicated concert in new york since i moved here like i've been since i moved here i actually went to a concert in dc when i went back to visit and i went to gov ball which is like more of a festival vibe so not like a concert in a venue in new york dedicated to one artist kind of thing so i'm going to see patrick droney on thursday which I'm very stoked about. Um, and then I might go and do like a workout class and do some work in other places around the city throughout the week. We'll see, I'm just thinking about, you know, how I wanna mix up my week. I'm feeling refreshed after an extra long weekend and I don't know, today, like I said earlier, like it's been kind of all over the place with me, like dealing with some emotional stuff that I feel like it kind of goes back to my conversations I've had with you guys here and also on the podcast if you listen to my solo episode where I talked about like dealing with trying to be a more vulnerable person and like be more in touch with my emotions that I would usually kind of push away it's just this is part of the journey it's like when things come up emotionally actually getting to the root of them and talking through them with people instead of just like ignoring them and over rationalizing because that's not actually gonna solve any issues. So anyway, that's just kind of something that I didn't foresee at the beginning of the day, but it's still weighing on me and it's just really not useful to bottle things up. It's what I'm learning, which seems like elementary, but it's a part of the process. And now I'm still a little bit tipsy from the wine we had um, in Soho, so that's probably why I'm saying this. <laughs> Having emotions is just tiring. <laughs> So anyway, I'm gonna edit and probably read for the evening and just have a chill night. Um, maybe watch some YouTube videos or something. I'm probably just gonna have salmon with some rice because I'm also not like starving after having that snack, but I just need to have something substantial. So gonna have that and relax. It is now evening time i actually really need to like wind down from my laptop and i just finished up some of the editing work that i need to get done so that's good sigh of relief and got that sent off and now it's almost 11 p.m so definitely time for me to move away from the screens and get my brain into sleep mode so i can hopefully sleep by like 11 30 maybe 12. i've actually been better about getting to bed a little bit earlier like before midnight which is iconic for me so love that for me and i want to keep it up so i think i'm going to wrap up this video here i was just watching sharp objects while i was um, doing this because 
I forgot that they came out with a series. If you guys remember Gone Girl, it's the same author who wrote the book Sharp Objects. And I actually preferred that book to Gone Girl. I read it years ago, so I don't really remember that much anymore, which is why um, it's like interesting to watch back because I don't remember the details of what happens throughout the story. And instead of a movie, like they did for Gone Girl. This is a short series, I think limited series on HBO. So I forgot, I mean, I knew that it was like dark and twisted, but it's like intense to see that also on a show instead of reading it. But yeah, it's a heavy show, so I wanna read something lighter <laughs> perhaps. Okay, so I'm gonna try and decompress my brain from that show and also looking at screens and just chill out. So, good night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on this day off in my life. Um, kind of just hang out. Got to see my new Princess Polly stuff. Went into the city for a bit. Got my groceries. Talked to Sierra for a few hours. It was very, it was a good balance of like productive and also relaxing and also, I don't know. I feel like I got a lot done, but then also it was suddenly four o'clock and I was like, oh my God, what have I done? Because I also spent a lot of time like dealing with this other issue that came up that I talked about and that's just life is sometimes you know you can't uh you can't plan when things are gonna hit you in the feelings I'm feeling much better and I definitely needed that extra day of a weekend so very very glad for it and ready to hit the ground running with another work week tomorrow so good night Hope you're all having a great day, week, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in my next video very soon. Subscribe if you're not already, and until then, peace out.